hi everyone and welcome to another video welcome back if you're an old subscriber and hello if you're a new one this uh, recipe comes because a few weeks ago I wanted to go get something sweet to my colleagues in the office I do that from time to time and I just improvised with what I had that in the house but it's kind of a recipe that my grandma used to make, my mother used to make also. It's a pantry sweet recipe that you can do with things that you probably already have in the house. So I'm mixing here a pre-ferment with yeast, warm milk, some sugar and some flour. If you use uh, active dry yeast, I don't think you really have to mix it, but I'm showing you this in case you use fresh yeast or some yeast that needs to be activated. So after 10 minutes it got all fluffy and that's how you know it's active. And then I started mixing all the other ingredients. This is something I always keep in the fridge, some um, lemon zest with some sugar and it can keep for a year or two even and you always have it at hand you can also do this with um, orange zest I usually keep one orange zest and one lemon zest in the fridge in a jar and here I used butter and oil because I only had um, maybe 40 grams of butter so I added oil and then the preferment as you can see you can use and Improvise with what you have at hand Then some eggs And then I start mixing with the spoon and add the milk little by little The final dough should be quite soft You will see That it's gonna be really sticky so the movement I usually do is first when I mix it I'm grabbing the dough like a claw with my hand and trying to mix all the dry flour into the wet ingredients. See just grabbing it and twisting it. It's gonna be really sticky. And then I try to punch the dough and switch the direction. This is another type of um, mixing when you just slap the dough and you try to incorporate some air underneath. This is easier done with uh, really wet doughs like this one. I mixed it um, for 2-3 minutes like this, alternating with the punches and the slapping. It's still very sticky, the gluten did not yet um, evolve. You can use a stand mixer if you don't like to get all sticky. But I like the sensation of the dough when you mix it, so I don't mind. And then if you leave, leave it 10 minutes covered, the gluten structure will develop and it's going to be easier to mix again. If you're using the stand mixer, then you don't need to leave it rest. You can mix it for five minutes or so. I'm combining again the methods of kneading. It has a better structure now and I will let it rest until it doubled in size in a warm place. For the filling I'm using some jam, some plum jam that my mother did and some nuts. I had at hand some almond flour, like almond meal more than flour, and some hazelnut, crushed hazelnuts. So use whatever you have. You can use walnuts or macadamia or peanuts even. And mix these two until you form a paste. If you don't want to use jam, you can also use chocolate or 
I would probably try out also with some cream cheese with some sugar for example and um, maybe some nuts just experiment with what you have so here the dough rose and I'm sprinkling some, sprinkling some flour so that my fingers don't stick and I'm punching, punching the air out and I'm going to transfer it to my surface, flowered surface and we'll then form it into a rectangle so that it's easier to spread into a rectang rectangle I'm just uh, folding it so that it doesn't stick as you can see I'm forming a rectangle press, uh, sprinkle generously with flour and underneath also and then with a rolling pin I will give it the rectangle shape and the thickness of half a centimeter to one centimeter don't stress about it either as you can I'm adding some more flour underneath because it was sticking and I used a pizza cutter but you can use a normal knife to cut in rectangles the size depends on you also doesn't matter mine were quite big this is um, shallow pan and I just put some oil on it and here you can see with the help of two little spoons teaspoons I'm spreading the filling onto the rectangles and then I will fold them I made two types of um, buns these rectangular ones and also round ones I'll cover them and let them puff up while the oven is preheating at 180 degrees Celsius these uh, round ones I put them in a round tin so I'm just folding the corners and then these little corners again so that the filling is contained inside and flip them you should leave some space between both the rectangle ones and these round ones because they will puff up first in the resting time and then in the oven again also So I filled all the tins and I let them rise again. In the meanwhile, I used an egg for glazing after, before uh, I put them in the oven. And I just brushed this uh, beaten egg on top. This will help with a golden hue. If you don't want it, you can leave it out and they will be whiter on the top. Or you can use a mixture of uh, milk and egg or even just cream or milk I did the same for the round ones but just before putting them in the oven which means that the rectangle ones were ready to be taken out and then the round ones went into the oven I don't leave them in the tins because they might get soggy at the bottom so carefully with the gloves I take them out and flip them on the cooling rack and I also cover them with a tea towel and that makes the crust softer and after a while they are still warm I couldn't help um, pick one and open to see the inside This is how they look. On the round one, I glazed some honey and then sprinkled some chopped hazelnuts. You can skip this if you want, but I thought it looks nice. And the dough is not very sweet, my jam was not very sweet either, so some honey would be, bring some.
some sweetness to it. And I'm packing here for my colleagues in a metal tin and I sprinkled powdered sugar on the first layer of the rectangle ones and on the bottom I, bottom I have some parchment paper and this is the second layer they are really nice and cozy in the tin and they, it's easy to transport if you have to take them somewhere maybe to a picnic or to the office as I did to your colleagues I like to share sweet stuff with them at work and I sprinkled some more powdered sugar this um, I did in the evenings and the next day the powdered sugar was transformed to a, a syrup like consistency on the top but if you serve them fresh they will stay white and nice